Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 0 Blind. On the last episode, we wrapped up the uh, special training with I as we did one more, we did the final chat date with her and then we uh, did her side quest, which was a relatively short one. We just went over to a bridge and hung out and you know, said we were friends, although it seems like maybe she wants something more, but Maja was thick, so it'll probably won't happen. Anyway, side quests are done, but this episode, side quests are done with I. Now we have Saki. If we get her done, we'll have all three of our Platinum Hostesses uh, completely maxed out, at least with their uh, special trainings, and then we can go back over to probably whoop Club Mercury now that we've done a lot of off-screen training. So that'll be good. So let's start with her. We should have hers ready or available because I just did a run to make sure that we had the special training available. Oh, why are you sad? Why are they all sad? Probably because they're tired. Yep, no more training available. Uh, I, I don't know why it says now. I hope it's no more. We'll see. Saki. Oh, can I even do voices? <laughs> All right, you ready to talk, Saki. Luckily, I don't have to do Saki's voice for that much. Just this opening part, if you can't tell. And you might not be able to, but, but I, always, I, I always can tell I'm sick right now. Mmm. Of course, let's do it. Remember, you gotta treat me like a regular customer, okay? Mm. It might be difficult, but I'll manage. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Saki. Let's have a great time today. Hmm? You got an open, direct way of talking. I like it. All right, here we go. Zuljo. Can you tell me something about yourself? What do you do on your days off? Word. Sleeping? She was like the the perfect attendance queen, wasn't she? At Club Jupiter. Also, I can I can totally relate to sleeping. I think I slept I think I slept uh, ten hours last night, <laughs> and I needed it. Oh boy, Aww. that's pretty health conscious of you. Did you play sports as a kid or something? Yes. Nailed it. Guess there's a reason they called you Busy B Saki at Club Jupiter, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. That's amazing! You must really like exercise, Saki-chan. Tennis and hiking? Pfft, let's get physical. Got a girly hobby. Oh, come on. Nah, those are cool. Hiking and tennis are kind of nice. And jogging. She goes hiking with friends. So, yeah, those are cool. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with sporty hobbies. I think they're cool. Yeah? Well, screw them. Not many girls in our industry are into that, so it makes you unique, Saki-chan. Gotta be proud of that. I'm mature, according to I. So, do you have any other hobbies? So, do 
Hey, cooking. That sounds pretty domestic. <laughs> what a way to phrase that. Maybe that'd be a subject you wouldn't feel bad about bringing up. What's the matter? Nothing scores more points than being a good cook. What's your specialty? I've heard of this. I need to look it up just to see what a picture of it is. She says, she says, don't laugh. So let's not choose the laughing option. Karage. Various foods, most often chicken or other meat and fish are deep fried in oil. All right. So it's like fried chicken or tentacle. Whatever gobo is, octopus, potato. Okay. That doesn't sound bad. Hmm? I love karage. Chicken's good and fried chicken's better. Hey, if you can make a simple dish be awesome, then that's pretty good. No way. It's a technique to frying up chicken, right? The flavor, the temperature, the oil, the... Uh... <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Heck, bring me some of that fried chicken goodness next time you make it. So, how do I get to know you a little better, Saki-chan? I mean, she did mention her brothers. Ooh, anything. Let's see. Got any talents? Were they younger brothers? Yeah. And like kids? Open a daycare, can I be your bro? You'd make a good mom? Alright, let's not go with the creepy option, which is why. Open a daycare. You'd make a good mom. Okay. I don't know which one sounds worse. <laughs> it depends on what her outlook would be. I mean, open a daycare would be like, you can handle a bunch of kids. Maybe too many. You'd make a good mom. That sounds... Quote unquote domestic, as Maju would probably put it. Unless she wants to be a mom. I'm gonna go with B, because it feels like it's the least the least awful. <laughs> That's a good quality to have. I'll make a great mom someday. <laughs> so that's and that's perfectly fine as well. I know how you feel. I can't even imagine having a family. I suppose we gotta find a good partner first. Hey, and I'm only 24, Saki-chan. Oh god, Majo's 24. Eh? Majima-san. You're not gonna act that surprised. So let's flip the script. How about your weaknesses? That was that was immediate. Darn with authority. What kind of bugs give you the shivers? Mushi 
You hate him that much, huh? Hi. Hey, I'll let you in on a little secret. Kinda lose my crap when I see a big bug too. <laughs> we talking roaches? I'll come squash it. Here, we'll be we'll be her night. Hey, I can swing by with the shoe of death if you want. Ah, uh, sorry. Wouldn't be quite proper me to show up at a girl's house now, would it? <laughs> Seem awfully happy about that. Well, you just call Goro the Exterminator Majima if you see one, okay? I think we nailed that one. Alrighty, what do you say we call it a day? Thank you, Majima-san. Yeah, good job. So, let's see. <laughs> that was a perfect lesson. You were having so much fun talking, I practically forgot I was training you. <laughs> Glad you had fun. Thanks to you, I really feel confident now. That's great. Keep it up. Hi. Of course. I'll kick it up a notch. <laughs> not even, not even like a tenth of the level. Okay, we're back. Customer service two is available now. She leveled up once. <laughs> Let's see. All right, you ready for round two, Saki-chan? Of course, I'll give it my all. Okay, remember, just a regular old customer, okay? Hi. Okay, got it. Oh, it's good to see you again, Majima-san. I hope you'll have some fun tonight. <laughs> Lively as ever, Saki-chan. I love that about you. All right, here we go. So, yeah. Let me think. Can I ask you what you think about relationships, Saki-chan? <laughs> well, we'll see about that. First off, what kind of fellow is your type, Saki-chan? Masculine? Well, you like guys to be ripped? Someone like you? <laughs> Am I manly? That's totally me! Ooh, wait. I don't think she'll like it if we if we say someone like you, because she she was kind of self-conscious about the hobby she has. So it's either X or B. Probably X. B doesn't add anything to the conversation. Would you say I fall into that category? Yes. Thanks. The muscles are important after all. <laughs> Just imagine them in their, in their underwear. Oh no, they're hot! Think about it. Think about what? Huh? Oh, there's uh, Thick as a Brick Majima again. Okay, what about the reverse? Any type of guy you just can't stand? Weaklings? Saki-chan, you from Kyushu? 
figuring that might be playing a part here. Why? Tasca what do you mean? Give him a chance, make him spoil you. What do you mean into a big baby? Ooh, I don't know. Make him spoil you? Give him a chance? I don't know which one to go with. I want to hear what he says if I press X. Make him spoil you. What do you mean by that? He's got to make those types want to spoil you instead. Yeah. I think most guys are actually looking for a girl who's going to make him spoil her. Well, what are these practice sessions for anyway? Wanna try it out? I'd be happy to spoil you. Yeah, maybe they give them a chance would have been like you spoil them. And uh, then they just turn into like children. <laughs> There's a crying shame. It's nice to be spoiled sometimes. So how many guys have you given a chance, Saki-chan? What about back in your student days? <laughs> Sounds like you made it through your teenage years pretty unscathed. You never crush on anyone? There's <laughs> the drama I was looking for. Come, you never said anything. バレンタインの直後私ましたよ。え?え?いろいろあったけど。恥ずかしいから相手の付けの引き出しに外入れといたんですよ。私の名前はどこにも書かなかったけど。You you should have signed it. Also not helpful. I guess you made his day is the best option. Heck, if I got a Valentine's Day card now, I'd like it. <laughs> you know, I, I do say that, and yet there's still the mystery of someone painted my mailbox and put a heart on it. This happened like eight or nine years ago. I, to this day, don't know who did it. And uh, I, think I'd be, I think I'd be creeped out by it at this point. Hmm. But you made his day, I think. Sure, you made that guy feel like a million bucks. Always nice to know someone cares enough about you to give you some chocolate. Oh, the thoughts in his head would have been buzzing. It's like, who did this? Who did this? Who, who, who? <laughs> no doubt in my mind. But if he found out they were from you, he would have been over the moon. You got that. Hey, in universe, it's only like two months until Valentine's Day. <laughs> of course, I think I'm be looking forward to it. Mm. You know, you come off as a pretty straightforward girl, but I think you've got a wide-eyed, innocent side to you. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see if you got a date with a guy that you fell head over heels for. How's it gonna play out? See? Boom. Innocent and a little scared, right? He might get worried. I doubt he'd mind. Ooh. This is before cell phones. If she wasn't saying anything and was on her cell phone all the time, then I'd say worried. I don't think he'd mind that much. Maybe if she didn't say anything at all, maybe a little bit worried. I'm going to be. <laughs> Doubt he mind. Guys got to understand that you're nervous, and this job is to make you feel more comfortable. You think? Now I'm the one who's being normal. The guy who can't handle a quiet date is garbage anyway. <laughs> Alright, I've grilled you enough for today, haven't I? Thank you, Majima-san. Yeah, good job. So, let's see. Alright, I don't think we need to go through these again. It's pretty much the same dialogue all the time. I'm actually going to call it early. I was going to do the next one, but I don't know if it's going to be another talkie. And my voice is getting itchy. And by that, I just mean my throat's getting itchy and I need to go to get a drink because I'm, I'm about to cough up a storm here. Ooh. But I think I, I think that, well, the, the, ah, what that'll just do is it'll push back. It'll push back one part, so maybe next part we do three, four, five, and the final finale we do six, seven, and then the sub the side quest because the side quest wasn't really all that long with I. So if that's the case, then that might equal it back up. We're continuing to train some other characters. I don't think I have another character of hit level thirty yet, other than our platinum hostesses, who I think are all above it at this point. Uh, but. We'll just keep on going. Keep on training some girls. I'm working on Jupiter now, the Jupiter region. We weren't getting a lot in we weren't getting a lot in the in the Mars region, but maybe we go back to it just to make it even. I kinda wanna hit ten thousand with all three of those areas, so it'd be nice. But on the next episode of Yakuza Zero Blind, we will continue on with training Saki. We have training three. Training four and training five. We'll try and get all three of those done. I hope I hope I'm better by next Monday by the time I have to record the next part. <sighs> so, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.